for Sarah Polly. Yeah. they are animals because they're athletes. Yeah. She said yeah. they're animals. Now, but you like that, you're from Canada, so you like hockey players. I like hockey players. I like hockey players. What about, um, is it true, you know, knocky knocky nine doors? Is that what you no, guys? No, in fact, that's our other national sport, so I sort of resented the mispronunciation of it. It's Nicky Nicky nine doors. Ah, uh, that's even knocky, more. Knocky knocky nine doors is silly. Even more irritating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even more irritating. Nicky Nicky, 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 Nicky nine doors no, makes sense. No, I thought it made, it made sense if it was you knock nine times, and then you no, take off. It's, no, it's not a nice thing. It's just, it's just crazy talk. Oh, that's yeah, really bad. It, yeah. For a moment, I thought, wow, they're kind of ballsy. They knock instead of ring nine times <laughs> before you leave. <laughs> You're saying it's just Nikki yeah, Nikki? No, 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 ballsy, like we're Canadian. Yeah. We knock like once and we run. Yeah. You know, that's it. Uh, now, this is your first late night talk show? This is my first and late night. And you're a little concerned? Yeah. I'm a little concerned. Yeah. 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 What are you worried about? I'm, a, I'm an incredibly boring person. You find yourself yeah. boring. And I'm no you, Michael Chiklis. You're not I'm Michael Chiklis. I'm going to bring the show to its knees. And, and you think that we'll find you equally as boring. It's, it's entirely possible. I'm saying, I apologize in advance. No, I, I think you're going to be OK. We're okay. going to pull stories out of you. Oh, OK. Yeah. Oh, wow. Like the Nikki Nikki thing is great. That, we, oh, good. Okay. Yeah. You're on a roll right now. Uh, so what do you think of L.A.? I heard you weren't a big fan of L.A. before coming here. Well, it's, uh, L.A. is a weird phenomenon. I find myself dreading coming here. Like, uh -huh. it's like, like this awful place that I can't possibly go to. And once I'm here, I love it. Yeah. And then I go home and don't like it again. And I can only, I've sort of pinpointed that it might be the feeling of selling out is so good while oh. I'm here. That might be why I, like, I love With it. You. And then I go home and I realize what I've done and I feel not so clean. So you feel like you're, you're an artist, you're an actress, and you want to do special things, and then you come down here, and the like money... Like Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. I, I wasn't really going to... Specific say. artistic <laughs> projects. Yeah. And, and, and you come down here, and then you, you might sell out, but it feels good, because then you can because buy... Because it's fun, right? There's, like, free stuff, and, and there's a lot of booze in the dressing room here. Yeah. Yeah. You like L.A. now. The weather's amazing, obviously. Yeah, it's great. The industry is intimidating, though, isn't it? The Hollywood yeah, industry? Yeah, it's yeah. It's a little frightening. You know? yeah. yeah. And and then uh, Dawn of the Dead, is uh, is that uh, a movie that you really wanted to do, or what? Yeah, I did. Actually, it's it's pretty fantastic. When I met with the director, Zack Snyder, and the producer, Eric Newman, they pitched me this, like, insanely twisted movie, yeah. which sort of was true to the, you know, the original Dawn of the Dead is this allegory for consumerism. But really, they want I'm to make... I'm sorry. The... Don't say it again. Break it down, girl. <laughs> Allegory, allegory for, for consumerism. Yeah. And, but really... Yeah. Is that a general feeling about that movie or not? I think it is, actually. I think it's pretty famous for that. But okay. really, they, they, they sold me on the gore. Uh -huh. And it, it doesn't disappoint. It's yeah. the scariest movie in the world. You so you've like seen it now, and you approve of how gory it is. Absolutely. I and and yeah. I think the, the original was fun because... Sometimes the makeup is not as advanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, but now with the makeup advanced, is it as scary or not? It's actually, it's, it's incredibly frightening. Give me an example of something visually that is, are people missing their arms and that kind of thing? Oh, it's or? so far beyond that. It's beyond that. I kill a, 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 a giant zombie by putting a fire poker through its eye. Like, oh. that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Well, all I can... It's Hollywood. It may end any time. <laughs> but, uh, I love proposal stories. I don't think I'll ever get married, but I think proposals... <laughs> I would love to propose, you know, get on that mountaintop, be creative. Tell me oh, yeah. how the young man oh. uh, proposed to okay, you. Okay, well, it was a little bit of a reverse situation. Oh, aren't you, aren't you aggressive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did the proposing. Yeah? And it's not, like, the most romantic story in the world, because, like, I, I took him to this special place in a park near where we live, and I got down on my knee, and 
he just immediately started saying, no, no, no. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, you know, as a first time. You got down on your knee and he started he saying said, no. Well, he went, no, I, I need to do this. Oh, I, I need have to do, do it. this. I see. No, no. But then he just kept saying no and yeah. that threw me a little. Yeah. You I, didn't know. Oh, you thought he was saying no to the whole idea well, of getting married. Yeah, yeah. and then even when I, he wasn't, it was just like, could you stop with the yeah. no? Yeah. Like, you know, it's like. So, uh, how long have you been dating? Uh, two years, three years. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. It was time. Yeah. And then, God, yeah. so did you get to go through the proposal after he said? Yeah, he finally sort of, you know, stopped with the whole. Yeah, knowing. Yeah. And then what'd you say? And then, and then he said, yeah. And oh, so, he, so, then he made me get up. He, he didn't yeah, like yeah. the knee thing as much. So you just said, would you marry me? Something as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you just add anything else? Like, I think you're really a cool guy. <laughs> well, he just finished the whole knowing thing. So it was, you know, it wasn't the first thing that came to my oh, mind. Right. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I find you irritating, <laughs> but would you marry yeah, yeah, me? Yeah. Right, right. And what does he do for a living? He's um, an editor. Oh, you guys got a shot. Don't worry. You guys have a shot. Um, hey, it's a very gory movie, Dawn of the Dead. It opens Friday. And nice meeting you, young lady. Very You're very interesting. Thank you very much. Yes. Sarah.